Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. Um, I got the window open, so I hope that's not too loud, but it's beautiful outside right now. It's like 67 degrees. The sun is shining and there's a little breeze. So <laughs> if it gets too loud, I'll turn it off. Today is Monday, the 10th of April. <laughs> I had to think about that. It is the 10th of April. Yesterday was Easter. I hope you guys, if you celebrate Easter, I hope you had a wonderful day. If you don't celebrate Easter, I still hope you had a great Sunday. Um, end of the weekend. So it was really nice here. We had a great day at church. Passed out a lot of candy. I think we had over 10,000 pieces of candy. My grandkids had buckets that were overflowing with candy yesterday. It was crazy. <laughs> Hi to all my new subscribers, um, and thank you to all the ones who have been with me from the beginning. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Remember to hit that like button, the subscribe button, um, share my videos with anyone you might think um, might like it. And not only can you find me on YouTube, you can also find me on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, and on Pinterest. So Pinterest, I have lots of information about different things. Um, so from foster care to diabetic recipes, low carb recipes, crocheting, um, you know, um, free patterns. I was going to say free recipes, but <laughs> free crochet patterns. And there's some business, uh, a business board as well. So be sure to check that out in your free time. And uh, yeah, if today, April 10th is your birthday, Happy birthday to you. If today's your anniversary, happy anniversary to you both. So yesterday we had, there's a lot of birthdays on April 9th. So Jack's grandmother, it was, she has, um, pa she passed away several years ago, but April 9th was her birthday. Jack's brother, James, it was his birthday yesterday. And James's daughter, Lindsay, it was her birthday yesterday. And then <laughs> Jack's younger brother became a grandfather again for the, I think this is number five, and he was born yesterday. So, yeah, so <laughs> we had lots of birthdays. It was so great, and a few of you told me that it was your birthday, your anniversary over the weekend, and some were yesterday as well. So I hope you enjoyed your birthday and your anniversary yesterday, or even Saturday, if you um, had a birthday or anniversary that day. So, whew, I guess all that the admin stuff's out of the way, and birthdays and anniversaries. So this video, um, I wanted to get on here because I forgot. I just, oh my goodness. Lori from the Armchair Chef sent me an email for the pairing of my person for May. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even do my video for April. Oh my God. And today's like the last day. So I have to get on here and show you what I made. Um, I will, if I remember, I think I forgot last time, but I'll try to put the link to, I'll try to remember to put the link to the video in the description box that will show you the yarn that I received from my pairing of the, my person that sent me yarn. Um, I believe it was, was it Becky? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to say, and then no, no. I know that Becky and I, <laughs> we've exchanged stuff, um, Anyway, so let me show you what I made. I made, this is the first time that I've made, um, I made several, I, one, two, three, I have five things that I made out of the yarn that was given to me. So, and again, if you need to see it, I did take a picture. I might've taken a picture of them. If I took a picture of the yarn, it'll be in the thumbnail or thumb, yeah, the thumbnail picture um, so that you can see it and then you can see what I made out of it. All right, so <laughs> this one, this, this was, I've only made a few because, you know, Abby is the knitting aficionado in this house. <laughs> I am not. But um, I don't think I did too bad. This will be mine because I I feel like it has some imperfections. Um, but that's okay. She showed me how to do it, showed me how to tie it off. And this, I put a picture on Facebook because I noticed that TikTok had a video of the double knotted headband. It's, you know, I don't know. I like the original one better. And of course, I don't have one here to compare it. But if you have Facebook, you can hop on over to my group and you can see. I put a side-by-side -side picture of the regular knotted and then the double knotted. So you're just 
folding it and like just an extra fold to get the, the two knots. And it's not bad. And I love these colors together that were given to me. So this is, <laughs> this is how it looks. So instead of just one being there, because you have to fold it, when you fold it the way you normally do for a knot, you usually just put one inside the other. Well, this one you're putting one inside the other, then one inside the other, then one inside the other, if that makes sense. Um, and it was, yeah, they showed it on TikTok. I don't, wouldn't even know how to find that, but just look at it. I guess it's double knot, double twist. I don't know. But um, I think the original one is my favorite, but a lot of you said that you liked the way this looked. Um, see, there's a little, <laughs> there's some, there's some imperfections there, so but I love these colors together, like a dusty rose and a denim. Wouldn't that be, I mean, if you had like some jeans on and a rose colored shirt, I just think this would, this is really cool. So I really liked it. So that's my first item that I made. And then this one, uh, okay. So uh, I was just kind of playing around. One of my top five hats, I think is this one. I, and this is because I like doing front post and back post stitches. Hey, some people just don't like them. And I totally understand that. I really enjoy making them. Uh, so there is a pattern out there. There's several. I, I couldn't even tell you. I'll look up the one that I use because it'll probably be um, in my either watch later or my library for YouTube. And so what she does, she's she's working around a, um, a hair tie a, like a ponyo she so all this is this is open because it's a messy bun design so it's the same design here front post back post but this is and I just figured I just did the same amount of stitches she I believe started with a minimum of 30 stitches so I just did 15 then two then two to get that same amount that she did in two rounds or something so and then I just started the front post, back post. It worked out just fine. And I wanted to alternate. I was originally going to do like two or three rows of red and then two or three rows of white and two or three. And I thought, hmm, I don't know. I think I want to do every other. I love it. I really love how it turned out. So, and this was um, Premier Anti-Pilling yarn in red and white that I used. I love it. Um, I'm still looking for maybe a button or a pin or something to put there just to make it look good. I don't know. It's really neat, but yeah. So that's all it is. Front post and back post. And I just did one row of white, one row of red. So there's that. Oh, I just love it. This is just, I mean, look at how stretchy. This is a really good textured beanie. Works up fast. Yeah, you guys will love it. All right, so with the rest of the white and the red, I mixed it with um, just yarn turquoise that I also received from my thing. And this will remind you of something as soon as you see it. Um, Jack said it reminds him of a bomb pop. <laughs> I, I don't know. <clears throat> so I was trying to get like um cat in a hat kind of vibe with uh, or um you know thing one and thing two and these are the colors I mean you know they've got so usually when people make it they make it with these two colors and then the circle is white and then a row of black I didn't have black that was given to me so I didn't want to use a color that I didn't have but I might just trim that with black or something because, you know. But it fits Jack's head, covers his ears. He says it was really comfortable. And it's the same pattern that I just showed you with this one. Front post and back post. And I just made it into those colors. So another hat. You know, I doesn't, I don't really, it could be 100 degrees outside. And sometimes, I, I mean, it's just comfort for me. I love making hats absolutely love it's my my go-to thing when I want to make something and I don't I don't have an order to do or I don't have a reason to make it I always go to a hat first so yeah <laughs> you'll see me making those year round um okay so my last two, <laughs> my last two items item four and item five are thing one and thing two <laughs> 
I, I don't have any idea um, if I'm either even going to list these, but when I saw those colors, when I was pulling them out of the box, the first thing I thought of was, oh my gosh, those colors are perfect. So I made a thing one and a thing two hat. They probably would fit, I don't know, maybe a nine to 12 month old because they're not that big, but oh my gosh, I totally and completely love them. And I wanted the, I didn't want it to be um, like a perfectly round ball because a round pom-pom because thing one and thing two, their hair is like unruly. So it's, it does have slight perfections, but I did that on purpose. I like it. <laughs> I think it's adorable. So I really love the colors that were given to me this time. Well, I, I really like the last month too. I like every month, let's just be honest. But yeah, so I made a thing one and thing two. A, <laughs> let's see if I can get them out of here. And then, whoop. So now we've got like, this is everything. And this is for, let me get that off my head. This was for the My Yarn, or My Yarn, Mystery Yarn Challenge for March, right? Is this for March? Yeah, because I'm doing April. I think I said May. So now <laughs> I can get my box sent out to my new pairing, my person. And I can't wait to get mine. I don't know who has me, but I know I'm going to get something great because I've been, it's been so wonderful. This is such a great thing to do. And it's just mindless because you're, you're not, you just have to use the yarn. You don't really have to, they don't t tell you to stick to one particular item. You can just kind of make whatever you want. For me, it was hats and an ear warmer. I have no idea what it'll be next. Maybe, uh, you know, I don't know. I can't say. Anyway, <laughs> thanks again to Laura from the Arn Chair Chef for hosting this and for making it so much fun. I cannot wait to get started on the next month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, let me know what you think about the items that I made. And um, yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Happy hooking, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>